We are exactly 20 days away from Christmas. Man, <laughs> coming so quickly. And that means it's the season of Christmas plays. And this year, Kansas City Young Audiences is presenting a new spin on the season favorite, a Gilbert and Sullivan Christmas Carol. I'm here with Martin English and Kip Nevin. Who play Scrooge in the play? Both of you play Scrooge. <laughs> no. Okay. I was all right. Mr. All right. Scrooge was, right here. You're Mr. Scrooge. <laughs> and and uh, tell us about this play. Well, it's it's a the classic tale as if written by Gilbert and Sullivan, the composers and lyric the composer and lyricist and uh, of uh, the Mikado and HMS Pinafore, Pirates of Penzance, and it's so it's a kind of a fresh take on on the whole uh, Christmas Carol. Oh, it is Story. such a good movie. It's one of my favorites. It really gets you into the spirit as well. Bah humbug, right? <laughs> That's yeah. right. Yeah, well, which... and, you, and you'll recognize all the, the great uh, classic Dickens characters good. just with some great, wonderful Gilbert and Sullivan silly music. And what's your role in the play? Uh, I'm actually the producer of okay. uh, Kansas City Young Audiences. So this whole uh, production is a benefit for Kansas City Young Audiences. And... We uh, put arts education into the schools. And that's neat. Yeah. That's neat. So that's what you guys help out with, making sure that art is in the schools. Exactly. All right. I hear that uh, you have a part that, that you're going to uh, read for our, for our viewers, right? We do. Is this part to. of the play? Just got a snippet. Okay. Yeah. All and, right. and your viewers should know that the presentation is a concert-style presentation. So okay. we will be at music stands and, and hence the script in hand. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to get out of the way and I'm going to let you do your thing. And let the viewers Thank listen you. in. A Merry Christmas, Uncle. God save you. What are you doing here? There'll be no money for you. Oh, I don't ask for any money from you, Uncle. Eh? Nor indeed anything at all. I merely wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas and invite you to join me at the Bull's Head for Christmas dinner <laughs> if you've no other engagement. As you know, I have in a small group of friends every year to mark the holiday, and we'd be very glad of your presence. Bah humbug! What's Christmas to me, or to you, that you should spend any more for your dinner than you must? You know very well that I never eat Christmas dinner. Ah, but this is no ordinary Christmas dinner. Uh, I thought you might want to come this year to meet Miss Dora Lincoln. Uh, who's she? One of your creditors? Oh, how perceptive of you. Uncle, uh, for indeed I owe everything to her, uh, most particularly my future happiness. Well, you're babbling. What do you mean, sir? I mean that Miss Dora Lincoln and I are, since last week, engaged to be married. Uh, married? Bah! What, what do you want to be married for? Why, because she's the sweetest, nicest, most charming young woman in the whole world. Which I take it to mean that she hasn't a farthing in the world either. You're an idiot, sir. It's one more mouth to feed. And I dare say, for you, for all the fool that you are, there'll be more mouths to come. Be gone. I've nothing to say to you or your engagement or your Christmas dinner. Well, Good afternoon. I'm sorry with all my heart yeah. to find you so resolute, Uncle, but I've made a trial and homage to Christmas, and I'll keep my Christmas humor to the last. So Merry Christmas, Uncle. I say good afternoon, sir. And Merry Christmas to you, Bob. Good Christ. afternoon. <laughs> all right. <laughs> good job, you guys. Good job. Well done. Well Thank done. You, well thanks. done. You play Scrooge pretty well. All right. You can catch the play at 7.30 p.m. on December the 8th at and at 2 p.m. on December the 9th at Teresa's Academy in Casey Mo. Tickets, 15 bucks. That's an advance, $20 at the door. If you'd like to order a ticket, just go to kcya.org. Both of you, good job and thank you. Thanks thank you. For having Thanks us, for having us.